You have Fire TV devices, but you're probably not using them properly, or at least not utilizing some of the key features that a lot of people don't know about these devices. Since I've been talking about them for almost four years now, I wanted to go over my top five tips to help you optimize your device, stop buffering, and get even more content from it. I make weekly videos helping people like you save money on streaming services and learning how to optimize their devices. If you enjoy this kind of content, give the video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right down below. Let's start with trick number one. And what's one of the biggest issues most users come across with a Fire TV stick? Well, it's its lack of ports. In fact, it only has a USB micro port built into it. And that one is needed for the power supply. So for users that are looking for more storage or faster internet speeds, it neither has a USB or an ethernet port built into it. But did you know we can actually change that? The first accessory is if you wanna add a USB port to your Fire Stick, and that's an OTG cable. Basically what this does is bypass your power to a separate power supply while also adding in a dedicated USB-A port. This means you can use USB drives to install APK files directly on on your device or even have some retro games ready and loaded for your emulators. Or even better, if you want to attach a keyboard remote, that's pretty simple to do with this device. Most users that have a Fire Stick are just going to connect directly to Wi-Fi. In like 75% of cases, this isn't a problem, but it really depends on the location of your router and the speed of your internet. Wi-Fi can be extremely inconsistent, especially if you have your router in your basement. This can cause slower speeds, leading to buffering. Bring in Amazon's ethernet port adapter. Just like the OTG cable, this sticks directly into the micro USB port, which then gives you a power output and an ethernet adapter. This creates overall way more consistent speeds and higher download speeds from your internet service provider. If you want the best of both worlds, there's also some individual hubs available. I haven't personally tested out using a complete hub and the USB port, so purchase these with caution and be ready to potentially return. Them. Let's get to tip number two, clearing storage and cache data. Let's talk about storage. It's something that the Fire Stick does not have a lot of. You get about eight gigabytes. However, that only ends up being around four four to five after you account for the operating system and any updates that might push through. The only caveat to that is if you have the Fire Stick 4K Max 2, which comes with 16 gigabytes, a massive improvement. Most users end up loading this device with a ton of different apps, and over time, this will take up your storage. As devices use up their local storage, this will slow them down, especially as you reach 20 to 10% free storage available. For example, we're on my Fire TV Cube right now. I have 5.9 gigabytes available, that is more than enough. However, you might not. With your Fire Stick, the easiest way to free up storage is going directly into your application from storage, going to manage installed applications, and searching through any app you currently don't use. For instance, for some reason, I have two versions of Crackle installed. Yes, they only use 27 megabytes, but there's no reason to have that. Let's make sure we uninstall it. Something a little bit bulkier, Freebie TVs using up 126 megabytes. Let's install that one too. There's there's also the secondary option from Fire TV devices, and that is automatic offload. This works for official apps, such as Fubo TV here. What this does is uninstall the application, but keep all the user data available so when you do reinstall it, you're able to instantly access your account again. This is another quick way to free up some room. Lastly is cache data. If we look at Kodi right here, you're gonna see it has 79.97 megabytes. That is quite a bit of cache data. Cache data can be a good thing in some instances, but as it starts to build up, you're gonna wanna clear it. There's actually two ways to do this. If you look in the top right corner, you can clear cache by pressing that rewind button and holding it down, just like this. That will instantly clear it, you now have zero. As well, you can click on the app and also go to the clear cache option right here. There are some apps available such as Tech Doctor's UK Cache Cleaner, which helps you to instantly clear cache off all of your apps with one click of a button. I personally don't mind the manual method, but it is a pretty cheap option and you can reinstall it on multiple of your devices under the same account. Let's move on to tip number three. Tell me honestly, how many times have you lost your Fire TV remote or 
can't get it to work. If you follow tip number one, you learned that you can connect a USB dongle by using an OTG cable with your Fire Stick. But that involves you going to buy something else. What if I told you it's actually crazy simple to use your phone as a remote directly on your Fire TV stick or any other Amazon related TV device? Head to your phone's app store and search up the Fire TV app. From there, press set up new device, follow the on-screen prompts, and just like that, you're ready to get started. This app allows you to quickly toggle between devices, controlling it with just a tap directly on your phone. But if I had to choose, personally, I think the best feature is this little keyboard button right here. When you're entering a username or a password, What's most annoying? Having to use these keys to enter every single number or letter. Well, with this, we can just type it directly from our phone and it's gonna show up right on our TV. That's gonna save you a ton of time. Let's move to tip number four. This might be the most useful tip for ordinary users. The Amazon App Store has a ton of different apps, but let's be honest, it's pretty limited. Sideloading it is the ability to put apps that you can't get from official app stores directly on your device through AP files. Because Fire TV OS is basically just Android based, we can install any Android TV app directly on it. There's actually two methods to do this. The first one is using a USB drive. Plug it into your computer, pull APK files online, and put it on a folder inside your USB drive. Using an OTG cable, plug this into your Fire TV stick, download an app called file browser from the Amazon App Store and find the root folder of your USB drive. From there, you can track down APK files, click on them and directly install them. The second method involves you going to the Amazon App Store and installing an app called Downloader. From there, head over to settings, scroll down to My Fire TV, click on the About section and now click on your device five times until it says you're a developer. Then go to Developers Options and you'll now see the option Install Unknown Apps. From there, you can go to Downloader and find Find any APK online. You can also use UpgradeGuy.com, which is my website. The code to enter inside Downloader is 773-820. Find the APK, Downloader will prompt the install and download, and that's it, start using it. Let's check out tip number five. I don't know if anybody else finds this annoying, but I hate the moving video ads that play directly on your Fire TV home screen. And this also, a lot of the time, includes audio, which is super annoying, even when it's a movie trail. Did you know you can turn this off? Head over to settings and scroll down until you find preferences. Scroll down until you find featured content, and then turn off the allow video autoplay and the allow audio autoplay. Now, when you head back to your home menu, you're gonna notice none of the video ads are playing and you just get these still banners with no audio. Hopefully this video helped you learn a little bit more about your Fire TV device. We have tons of these available on your channel and I want you to comment down below which device you want to know more about next.